He... He what? He, he snuck in the back door. Was the owner there, the shopkeeper? I, I don't know. I don't think so. It was so real. It was like skin. What happened when he put it on? Um, first, he was really happy because he was, you know, really scary and he liked that. And then he got really, really tired. Uh, it was freaky. We've got to find him, Chuck. Steve is in trouble. Major trouble. Thirsty! Look at that old man. I need water. I can't hear you. What did you say? I need water. Please. He's got spiders on his head. No way to. down Davenport. Got an idea. Come on. Where are you going? Come on. I'm not going to argue with you. You've got plenty of candy, two more houses, and then we're going to go home. But, Mom, you promised. It's getting late, and it's way past your bedtime. But you promised. Please. Help me. Help me. No. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, wait. No, 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 no line. No line, please help me. What happened? I told you it was out of business. Why do you think Steve would come back here? Because that's what I did. When the mask wouldn't come off, I came here and the owner of the store helped me. How did the store owner help you? He told me to find a symbol of love. I don't get it. You know that plaster of Paris head of me you're throwing around last night? Yeah. Well, my mom made that for me because she loves me. Yeah, so? So that's a symbol of love. The symbol of love that defeated the evil of the mask, the haunted mask. I don't know, Carly Beth. This is getting too weird for me. Hello? Hello? There's no one in there. Wait a minute. What's that? What's what? I thought I saw something. A shadow or something. I don't see anything. But I feel something. Do you feel it? No. 
know. What? Something cold. Maybe we should go, Carly Beth. We can't. He said the back door was open. Show it to me. Do we have to? here, Carly Beth. Steve's not here, okay? Where's the shopkeeper? Come on, Carly, let's just go. Carly! <laughs> you scared me. Maybe Steve's okay. Yeah, maybe Chuck's right, Carly Beth. Maybe he just took off that stupid mask. He just took it off, and now he's at home. Listen, we'll go by his house, see if he's there. I'll bet you that's where he is. Yeah, I can just see him now, sitting on his bed, kicking back, <laughs> counting his candy. I sure hope so. Now he said he'd be home by midnight. Did you try Chuck's? I think they're together. Uh, no, but it's not important. We just wanted to stop and say hi. If you do see him, would you send him home? We will. Thanks, Mrs. Boswell. Do you want some candy? I have plenty left over. Uh, no, that's okay. Good night. Good night. Where is he? We've got to find him. Maybe we should call the police. The police can't help Chuck. 
all the police in the world can't help. These masks are alive. They take you over. You're scaring me. You don't really believe that stuff, do you? I told you. It happened to me. And I think it's happened to Steve. No, no. Just a glass of water, please. <coughs> well, all right, I'll be right back. Here, I hope this will help. something? I guess not. Steve! Steve! It's getting late. I'm supposed to call my mom from your house by midnight. This is, uh, about the only place we haven't looked. Remember, Carly Beth? Where you scared me and Steve last year? I remember. Come on. Anyone? 
This is where I buried it. Oh, that's where you buried the mask? It's escaped. The mask is alive! Carly Beth! Carly Beth, calm down! It's gone! It's just a hole! It's gone! There's nothing there! What is she talking about? Carly Beth, please calm down! young man. Remove it now. Hey. Is that all it is? It's just a mask? It's just a mask! When you tried to protect Carly Beth, when you threw yourself in front of the haunted mask, that was a symbol of love. Oh boy, this is uh, this is a little too deep for me. A waiting pool is too deep for you, Chuck. We looked for you. We thought you could help. I was trapped within the mask. This boy freed me and saved you. Well, I didn't want her to get hurt. It didn't seem fair, you know. Halloween brought the evil to life. Your actions put it to rest. Let us hope it stays that way. Carly Bass, your mom is coming to pick up both you and Sabrina. Thanks, Mrs. Boswell. And Chuck, your dad said you can sleep over. Great. How come you're so quiet? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. Do you want I guess one? Halloween isn't such a big deal for you anymore, huh? Yeah, I guess I'm getting too old. Here, give me it. Yeah, here. Well, I'm making some hot chocolate. You left. 
think what I'm thinking? Let's do it. you enjoyed that story. That Steve is a good kid. He brought me some of his trick-or-treat goodies. Mmm, cream filling, my favorite. Good night, everyone. Thank you.